Okay, another interesting shooter. This one is a Surface Laptop 4 from uh, 2019. It's got an i5 processor, 11th gen i5 processor, and 16 gigs of RAM, so respectable for its uh, time. On the right, we've got uh, the original ARM-based Surface Pro, the Surface Pro X from 2021. So um, with eight gigs of RAM. So it's gonna be an interesting uh, shootout. Um, without further ado, let's get stuck in and see how we get on. The first reading I give you will be the uh, laptop on the left, as always, which is the Surface Laptop 4. The second one will be the Surface Pro X on the right. So, off the box, we've got 20% uh, processing power on the left versus 40, 39% processing power on the right. So the Surface Pro X having to work considerably harder at this point. Um, now looking at 21% on the left against 40% still on the right. So probably not um, I'm probably not surprised the uh, the surface laptop 4 with this spec and 16 gigs of RAM is a is a healthy um, um, specification I've got a kitten running around it you might spot or you might hear in the background apologies for that um, we're now looking at 23% versus 40% still so the surface Pro is very consistent at the moment at 40% or 39% it's just dropped we're getting into the faster section here. We're still running on 20% versus 33%. So processing um, overhead gone down for the Surface Pro X just at that point. Expecting them both to ramp up now. 27% um, on the left versus 50% on the right. 28% um, versus 49%. And we're getting to the faster section now. Um, this obviously requires more processing power. We're looking at 37% on the left versus 65 on the right. 38% on the left versus 66 on the right, 37% versus 65, 37 versus 63, 37 versus 67, 39 versus 68. So I think that's probably giving us enough. Um, I'm super impressed by how well the uh, ARM emulation um, is working on all the ARM laptops, especially the uh, Surface Pro 11, the latest one, but also the Surface Pro 9, um, which is the last model, uh, and the SQ3 processor is doing extremely well. And I have to say, I'm surprised just how well this uh, Surface Pro X, which was the original ARM device, does in these tests. Um, I wasn't expecting it to win out on this particular test, um, but it's still quite respectable um, and certainly does the job for um, FL Studio for, you know, most of your, considering this is now available at a very cheap price. Um, you can pick up Surface Pro X secondhand for around about £250. You can probably get the Surface Laptop 4 with this specification uh, for maybe a little bit more. So um, you pay some money, it takes your choice. I, I guess with listening to myself at what I've just said, the Surface Laptop 4 at... Um, probably represents better value in terms of uh, FL Studio. But as I say, I'm impressed with um, what they've done with the ARM chip on the Surface Pro X, um, going back, what, um, three generations now of ARM processing. It's still running the, the same Windows uh, version that the Surface Pro 11 is running, um, and indeed the Surface Pro 9. So uh, they've managed to keep compatibility. They've not had to branch off on some other weird um, branch of Windows 11, which I think if they had, that would have been a big mistake and it would have been difficult to manage. So um, hats off to them. I'm um, conscious that I'm just uh, waffling now. So, oh, and the cat, the kid's just fallen off the windowsill. I think he's okay. He's looking a little bit shocked. Um, he might find his way up here. You, I'll just show you as soon as I've been talking about He's just disappeared off the side there. Oh, he's just shot down there. You just missed him. Anyway, that's enough of that. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, then give it a like. If you'd like to see more videos like this, then please subscribe. Thanks very much for your time. Bye-bye.